Hi guys! In this very quick tutorial, I'll show you how to clip something off of a live web page to be able to save that as an image. I'm using a Mac, but you'll be able to do this in Windows as well. So I've got my life score assessment here that I finished, and this is a live page rather than saving this off as an image that I could just save. So if I right click, it won't let me do anything here as far as just being able to save an image. So I'm going to have to take a screenshot and then paste that into a new Photoshop document to be able to save an image off. It's super easy though. So if you are in Windows, there is a print screen button on your keyboard that could not be easier. Go ahead and tap that. That's gonna save your entire screen off to your computer's clipboard. On the Mac, it's not quite so self-evident. So on the Mac, we're going to type Command and Shift and the number three. It makes a very fancy photography sound. And then down here in the bottom right corner, you'll be able to see the image that you've just taken. So I'm gonna right click on that and choose Save to Clipboard. Now we can switch over to Photoshop. And We'll come up to File and New and Blank File. That's automatically going to populate this with the height and width of the browser window that you had open, which is very cool. So we can click OK here, and now we're ready to just paste that in as an image. So on the Mac it's Command and V, and on Windows it is Control and V, and now we've got this paste it in here just like any other image. So all we need to do now is kind of zoom on in and crop this down. I'm just gonna grab my rectangular marquee tool, click and drag to create a selection. And if you want it to hold down shift to make it a perfect square, you can. This one I think I'm gonna leave as just kind of a rectangle here take out as much of the white space as you would like. And now we're going to come up to edit and and now we'll come up to image and crop. That's going to crop it down so that it is just the size that we want it to be. Control D or command and D to deselect and now we're ready to save this as a JPEG image. We can come to File and Save for Web. And here in the Save for Web dialog box, let's choose JPEG. We want high quality. We can make this as big as we want. It's still not going to be very big. And now we can just click Save. It's going to ask us where we want to save this to, and I'm going to save this to the folder that I always save all of my stuff that I'm using for my blog. So I'm just going to say life score wheel. There we go. And click save. And now you can upload that to Facebook, upload it to your blog send it out on Twitter, whatever you would like to do, so that you can share your own life score assessment. Very cool. So this is the way that you can take any live web page and create images from screenshots. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Jessica Sprague, and I'll see you soon.